Austin Wolf is booked and busy, and he's got the body count to show for it. This is super interesting. He is an extremely popular adult film star with more than 680,000 followers on Instagram and more than 150,000 followers on Twitter. Considering his prolific filmography career and popularity, it's hard to imagine exactly how many guys he has gotten busy with through the years. However, we now have an answer for you. In a new interview with social media personality Bezruka Venko, Wolf put to bed everyone's assumptions and revealed the mind-boggling amount of men he's plowed through <laughs> through the years. Austin Wolf said the count is, quote, probably in the 7,000 to 9,000 range. Austin, what's your body count? Oof. Uh, Please be honest. Sure. Two a day, 14, 56, 60, 600. So probably in the 7,000 to 9,000 range. It's over how many years? 20. So you have no problem of getting attention from the boys? It hasn't been a problem yet. What's your secret? How do you do this? I'm doing it for a living. You know, the most uh, I'm right, doing for right. a living. Uh, true. Uh, the most spectacular thing in that video was how good he was at math. That's what was a real turn on to me. Question six yes, with a Bacardi shot. Oh. I'd swallow that. Muscle, Dom, top, gay porn star Austin Wolf breaks the internet with 9,000 conquests. No. Well, who cares? <laughs> I, I was not paying attention. I was looking at the. At this picture, this this is the this here is the hottest thing to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the height uh, difference. So, yeah, the big little. Oh, height I'm, difference. I'm a little huge. sad that he gets paid to do it, and my count is probably up there with him. Oh, oh uh, and my count in 20 years, my count could be up there with him. You really think so? Paid. It is. Do you really think it's up there? So though, I, honestly, in all honesty, I, I think it's up there what? in 20 years. Absolutely. Fully. Say, I'm very sex positive. I love sex. I was I had a sex addiction where I had to get I had to get a good nut. And so two of the day was not, maybe even been three a day. But the thing is, he clearly says, because he got paid for it. Mm -hmm. So I am, so I don't believe he wrote, he wrote this. Absolutely. I just think he might be bad at I'm math. sorry. Well, that, just oh, a moment, go, please. Was um, flabbergasted. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, wait, now, go ahead. Wait, uh, <laughs> wait uh, the evening news guy. Now, uh, <laughs> Talk um, to me, let's go. Is it, is, is mm -hmm. it still going on? The the degree of the voraciousness. No, no, no. Oh. It's no, no. So, so, no, no. I wouldn't no, no. say that. Yeah, yeah. I, I would, I, I, he said it. No, but he's been no. very my, clear about the very, fact that. And, 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 and years, years, years ago, absolutely. Because that's how I felt. I found love. That's how I, I equated love into sure. being needed. So no, to the, to this day, no, it's not as strong. But yes, the number the number still grows. But it's I mean, still active. It's and, absolutely, but very, not very like much it active was before. By no means, because I get moments now where I don't even bother. Like I can set up a date and then like. Yeah, this cookies and cream ice cream is so much better than than getting that good nut. So I'm good with that. Wait, are you a lesbian? Oh no. I <laughs> oh, oh, comes the you're gonna do a hey, hey, thing, guys. Oh my god. Oh, feel it now. Oh my god, I can <laughs> feel the girls you, right now. No, but seriously, do you really want to know how many? Like once we knew we were, I knew we were gonna talk about this. I started like kind of counting, and then I was like, oh no, no. girl, I don't wanna. I, 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 I don't you know. find out that your partner yes. has more than you, and you're like, Duh. oh yeah, no, I, I, <laughs> I used to keep track. I used to keep track fully, very much. Very much kept track because I was curious. You not been keeping track. How Twenty years? No. Uh, no, no seriously. When, when did you stop writing the names down? Twenty years. A lot of you not. So oh. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a man of a certain age, hmm. and so early on you in want my me journey, to tell you what the certain less than sixty two. Um, <laughs> early in my journey, <laughs> I was curious as to where my life was going to go. You've been fucking mm -hmm. since you was seven. <laughs> Woo, that part. <laughs> but then after a while, it became normative. So why, why keep track of the numbers? It's all about now going into good, good sex, not just random sex. Mm -hmm. Got it. And Amen. so therefore, it kind of stopped. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So yeah. You know what's interesting to me is the what's your body here. Count? It's pretty high too. Not bad, but it, and, and I don't mean that in a negative way. But, but it, did you just get the crazy white guy? Not bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I, 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 was I pulled you. that. Yes. Al has been having sex for forty-five years, I, guys. I, I, understand. That. Yeah. That's a lot of counts. Right, right. Yeah. That's what and I'm curious about. Uh, uh, all over the world and, and, and lots of all over and the world. And he's got money to change your too. Right, right. Come on. Here's something I can you take a black card? that nobody at this table okay. can right. say. What? I have slept with 10 RuPaul Queens. Damn. What? Oh, oh my God. God. No. 10. 
We're having a conversation after yeah. this show. Um, would you believe me if my body count was less than two hands? No. Serious? No. 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 I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, no. Okay. But anyway, the point that I was going to make <laughs> is like, when I heard Austin Wolf. Do they know? <laughs> they, they <do. laughs> no, I got, I got one. I got have to I have to ask. Do I, they know they had sex with you, Al? When she watches this, <laughs> she knew of somebody that was performing on the stage and sat down in front of me on the stage just to call me out on it. Hmm. Yes. Do they, they know? know. Yes. <laughs> okay. But, but the point that I was going to make to you is when I saw this uh, story on Austin and I and I hear your conversation, you know the overwhelming thing here that that just jumps off the page is we sex shame Absolutely. the Both negativeness things. of sex too little so or too much too little or too much either direction yeah. mm -hmm. and and when I when when I watched him do that it was like good for you dude Congrats. you've made a fortune doing that who cares yeah that was my point Thank that you. was my point I, I, I'm, I'm broken and, and, How? And, and, and same yeah. Yeah. I am broken and got the same number right? I'm with Jonathan oh. I'm with Jonathan and, yeah. and, and, because you're black right right that's messed up that is messed up see right always trying to keep the brother down always trying to keep the brother down always there it is always we land that's why we cannot have Israel as the black bone like Come on, sir. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. We've resolved. All, now we can have peace on earth. Queer News Tonight is celebrating Women's History Month and is happy to cover a live special broadcast that we are going to be doing on Women's National Town Hall, which will be held on March 22nd. The panel is going to feature an all-star esteemed cast of women of the LGBTQ community, including Claudia Castillo, uh, the uh, wonderful artist Jasmine Rogers of Let's Get Lucky uh, and the events director at Hotspots uh, Happening Out Television Network and Atwell, the senior minister of the largest queer church in the world, uh, Sunshine Cathedral, among many others. The town hall is going to be held at the Sunshine Cathedral Center for the Performing Arts while the LGBTQ community is facing so much backlash from across the country, the L of the community, that is the lesbian community, members are feeling even more ignored and suppressed. The town hall is the platform for these women to uh, speak to our uh, community, to speak up, connect, and share their experiences, and pave the way forward towards equity and equality for everyone. So, question number two. With a Bacardi shot, I'd swallow that. Why do the women feel so left out of GBTQ plus? Do y'all agree that they are, they feel left out? Yeah, what's the question? Absolutely, yes. Do you agree yes. with the yes. statement? Yes. Yes. That yes. They oh. feel? yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. You had to think about it, Jonathan. Yeah. Well, because I don't want to speak for you, but if I will speak, come on, for you, Jonathan. Well, you I can never say it's a lesbian. I think I just did. Uh, <laughs> I, I I do feel like you guys. Uh, feel left out because you just call this guy. We <laughs> start there. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what it's the okay. Well, well, <laughs> well, well, elimination spaces as we pan away is like all we need. Oh, please take me off camera. Okay. Well, okay, well no, I, 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 I do think there's, some help with there's the clock, many different please. styles. Gays tend to work very differently than lesbians do. Lesbians, when they gather, they gather in a way more logical sense where gays kind of gather for the sake of the party, for the sake of, of you know, rambling in a nonsensical fashion where girls <laughs> and women, it's true, right? Like, we want to party. We don't give a shit about the rest. We stick together because we have the same kind of mindset. We want to fuck, we want to drink, we want to party. Where women are very logical in their sense of and when they kind of force themselves to infiltrate an opportunity, it's always very thought out. And guys are not like that. And so you guys always feel like we're not, we don't think the same because we don't. Yeah. Well, we're different, of course. Yeah. But I mean, it, it's not, you know, it's not just the LGBTQ plus community. It's the world completely. Mm -hmm. Look around this table. I'm the only girl. And that's not something uncommon. It's, I'm like super excited when there's another girl and, on the panel, you know? You know, and, and Faye knows this completely. Through the course of the last five years and happening out, we've had to fight for this seat and this voice every step of the way. Because the easy thing in community is, the easiest thing is it be all gay men. Mm -hmm. The easiest thing is it be all white gay men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything else is a fight. Everything. 
Yeah. What, no, and here's, you know, we've got to work harder to do the same job that yes. you boys do. And I know that I, that that does not mean like a slap in the face for you. It just is. You know, we're re, we're, we're we're never really let to sit at the table. OK. And mm-hmm. when we are, it's kind of like, oh, you hate men, you know, and that's how it's regarded. And that's not the truth. You know, back in the 80s, during the AIDS crisis, the women were the one yes. there for the gay oh, men. Yes. Right. And I really do believe that men have forgotten that. And then on the other side of it, we have our trans women that need us more than ever. Yes. And the lesbians have forgotten about them, you know. Yes. So in this town hall, we're going to be able to talk about a lot of that, you know, um, you know, just reproductive rights. Right. Gay boys were like, ah, doesn't include me. Screw the girls. Mm-hmm. All of you guys turned away like nothing, you know, when it does affect you, too. So we'll be talking about things like that. You know, I mean, why do the women feel so neglected by the boys and why do a lot of the boys not get the girls? You know, we're part of this acronym. We never asked to be in part of this acronym together, but we are. And we need to figure out a way to stand together or we are F. And, 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 and be first and we give it to you, though. And it should go back to the, <laughs> what, what, what ladies us together is the same gender loving. So we have to build on upon that. And you're absolutely right. The women should feel because we don't include them in publication. We don't don't include them in advertisements. We want them to come to the bars, the, the token bars, give you your money, buy your drinks. But then when it gets down to do the sex, we got to push you aside. Women are sometimes the hardest kinky players ever, but we will never know until we open our eyes. And only that society has taught us. White cis men have taught us to ignore our, sis- our siblings because, again, when they got time to vote, they, they pushed the women aside. When they got time to allow black folks to vote, they said, yeah, you can vote, but then all these stipulations. Women didn't get that opportunity to get to the table. And even then, it was under a whole bunch of stipulations. So it's been a learned behavior. Gay aside, as you said, Second overall, class. It's been, class. And, it's, and it's always been until we get over those, those heterosexual norms that, that has been put upon us by the colonizers is only when we Why get you over it. When you say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, could, could it it's only until then that, that we can say, but women are the best uh, ego boosters. Women are the best side piece. They, they can help the hitman. They can say, help me get laid because y'all You're know the best wing woman. Boy, wing woman what? Ever. Mm-hmm. But can I say, I think it's just a lot simpler than that. I think that it's just gay men in general are just better at organizing events. And I think that's because, and there's probably misogyny built into it because there are a lot of rich gay white men that are at the top of entertainment, but they're the ones that are coming up with the clubs. They're the one, and and lesbians and and gay men, they kind of want different things in their social life. I don't feel like- you're putting all lesbians in a box. That's not necessarily true. Just like when John said that all the boys want to fuck party and do drugs. That's not true. Uh, Right, we're, we're, it's it's not, not, but but we're just talking about general. You were put in a box because you're the one that was giving birth. But do you feel like the Mm -hmm. lesbians- We're fighting fighting an old historical systematic Mm -hmm. issue that is still lingering. It's not our fault. It's just something that we have to get out of. So don't be mad at our past. Be mad at those who are still holding you accountable for those. Al, things. ring yeah, the right. bell, baby. Yeah, ring right. the bell. All right. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be talking about women and continue to talk about Two more weeks, issues. bitches. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> at least two more weeks. No, no, no. All of 23. All right. No nonsense. Speaking of lesbian, no nonsense She's comedian. Queer. And She's not lesbian queer. anymore. Okay. All right. well, <laughs> She's had all the acronyms. She, She's she done is, the whole is, entire acronym. She's done. Really done. Is the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm smashing my head against the wall. Right. Next up is a segment we call our best thing of the week. Our segment is sponsored by Israel's El Al Airlines. Listen carefully. Rated one of the safest and best airlines in the world, El Al Airlines serves more than 50 international destinations in 32 countries. On this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, the queens were paired off as comedy duos on the Bubbly Comedy Festival, sponsored by Bubbly Sparkling Water. Malaysia Baby Doll Fox and Selena Estites came off as kind of flat, with Malaysia being sent home. Miami's girl. The Miami's Miami's girl. girl. The part of the episode that really tickled our taste buds was the fizzy dress worn by RuPaul for the runway. Mama Ru had plenty of sparkle herself as she came out in a dress that many fans were quick to notice was made out of pedal, I'm sorry, metal pop tops, presumably from bubbly cans. Best thing of the week, RuPaul shows soda can pop top dress in bubbly drink sponsored episode. Did we love this? I hope they drank all that bubbly and didn't just yeah. throw it out. That's a lot of cans Bully. right there. But how stunning does she look? Oh, Finally, showing off a different silhouette than her yeah. standard go-to. She looks absolutely beautiful and also a great message of recycling. I just want to <laughs> bring that out. I agree with just you. Just bring that out. Not only the image, but I mean, she's, she's been stroking absolute. She's been stroking absolute 
for like 30. How many years she's been stroking? Absolutely. Long as yeah. oh, baby. Yeah. Long wait, wait, wait. <laughs> How often do you watch the show? Well, since, I, since I've been joining you, I have to watch it. I think that's yeah, your best friend. Absolutely. I've but... been involved. In... <laughs> oh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> oh, long, long time. <laughs> However, back to the image, the okay. story at hand. Wait. Um, let's I quickly do... move on <laughs> to the next. Move on. Right. Okay. Next. But let me all. Anyway, yes, that silhouette is amazing. And she's all the challenges, often challenges the queens to do those kind of makeup, I mean, you know, design challenges where they have to come up with like trash and a dime and things like that. Upcycle. So, yeah, like that. so all that. So, yeah. yeah. I love John's point where it's like, she didn't make it. She, she didn't, didn't make it herself, herself, so why are we giving her so much credit? <laughs> right? I, want I give the designer credit 100%. <laughs> that part. Same yeah, yeah. silhouette. You guys are over overreading it. Same silhouette. No, no, it's, those, not, it's not the arm up. It's not the <laughs> hand on the hip. It's, no, it's no, not the same silhouette. It's a little different. body. It's, but if this dress was a little longer, it'd be the same. Absolutely. Oh, correct. And she has a video where she talks about there's one look that, you know, if you get your right your shoulders in the right proportion and the right spaghetti straps, just stick with it for the rest of yes. eternity. Yeah. And the thing is, she has one of the most amazing bodies. And like she's still, I think she looks better now in her 50s than she did when she was she's in, she's her, in 60s. her 60s. Or in her 60s. She's my age, 62. In her 60s. They rolled around. They, they, they rolled around. Yeah. They bumped pussies together. Did you not hear him? Did you not hear him? <laughs> and she could do was so she much one of the queens? Right. She's like, there it is. Oh. There it is. No. There it is. One out of 10. <laughs> she's there it is. married for years. She was that never so stopped. Stopped. Oh, oh, that boy. Boy. That boy. before. Please, oh, Paul, do more. Take more chances. You are amazing. You know, the first time, will this surprise you? The first time, uh, uh, Rue came to Sawmill and she performed. It was eh, it was kind of mediocre-ish. And, um, and uh, <laughs> she changed a dress three times, but it was the exact same dress in a different color. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's that, Rue. That. That. that works for her, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alan has glasses. He yeah. stays with the silhouette that works with him. Right. Uh, <laughs> Michael Kors. <laughs> okay. Kind of bleeper right. in jeans. Have you, uh, right. let's, let's move on. Uh, have you ever wanted to visit Israel? The cradle of world yeah. history. Yes, yes. But Tel Aviv, mm. the men, the men. The men. We always joke that we live in the gayest place on planet Earth. But did you know that Tel Aviv is the gayest place on the other side of the Atlantic? Gosh, I really wish I could go to the greatest, one of the greatest pride events in the world, Tel Aviv Pride. If you haven't heard about it, look it up on the internet. Our Hotspots magazine is celebrating 38 years. It has been documenting the LGBTQ plus lifestyle and is the spirit of our Hotspots queer entertainment this week, sponsored by the Broward Center for Performing Arts. In the LGBTQ plus community, we always make jokes about size matters. And when it comes to Broward Center, size does matter. The Broward Center for the Performing Arts is the destination of choice for LGBTQ plus South Florida for spectacular entertainment in a large variety of performance venues. Broward Center ranks among the top 10 most visited theaters in the world, presenting more than 700 performances a year to more than 700,000 patrons. Broward Center is the home of LGBTQ plus entertainers, shows, Broadway, national drag performance, LGBTQ plus choral events, and so much more. And Broward Center supports one of the world's largest gay communities, Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, and really all of South Florida. They support that LGBTQ plus community and our nonprofits unlike any theater in South Florida. We are excited to tell you about the 2023 season that Broward Center for Performing Arts will bring to our LGBTQ plus community. Did you know that surveys show that the LGBTQ plus community participates in live theater performances two and a half times more often than our straight counterparts? Well, that's why they are the sponsor of Hotspot's Queer Entertainment this week. Several of this year's top Academy Award nominated films have queer themes, and even more of them are queer adjacent. There are even a few actual queer actors, writers, and musicians who are nominated. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once won 10 Oscars this year. Jamie Lee Curtis and Michelle Yeoh's characters in the movie are queer in some multiverses, and Stephanie Su, who is queer in real life, is the first actor nominated for an Oscar for playing a queer role since Angelina Jolie for Girl Interrupted.
Everything, everywhere, all at once is banned in the Middle East and China due to its queer representation. Another movie collecting praise from across the world is The Whale. Brendan Fraser won the best actor for this film in which he is playing a gay character. And by the way, this movie has made Brendan Fraser the sixth straight man to play a gay character and win the Oscar. Another winning moment for the LGBTQ plus community was when David Kwan and Daniel Scheinert won the best directing award. And in the acceptance speech, Scheinert said, quote, this is one, this one is dedicated to the mommies of the world, to our moms, specifically my mom and dad. Thank you for not squashing my creativity when I was dressing in drag as a kid, which is a threat to no one. Thank you, sir. Uh... Uh, our fellow nominees, you guys are our heroes. This is weird. Um, uh, I, this, we want to dedicate this to the mommies, all the mommies of the world, to our moms. Uh, specifically, my mom and dad, Ken and Becky, thank you for not squashing my creativity when I was making really disturbing horror films or really perverted comedy films or dressing in drag as a kid, which is a threat to nobody. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, thank you to everybody who worked on our movie. <laughs> our Hotspots Queer Entertainment headline of the week. The queer Oscars hit drag queens, a whale, and a whole lot more. What did we think, the Oscars? My, oh, my God, I had so many favorite parts. But first of all, I love Pedro Pascal. I just love mm -hmm. him for, you know, uh, The Last of Us. And when he um, went up there and he had to say, um, my urine dicks, he, he was like, <laughs> my urine They'll say it for me, right? <laughs> and I thought that was an awesome part. Um, when Lady Gaga performed, I was like, who is that ugly girl with no makeup while wow, she could sing? Ooh. And all of a sudden, I was like, oh my God, Lady Gaga, she's beautiful, right? Like, all of a sudden, <laughs> it was like, oh, you know, there was just a lot of queer moments. Um, but honestly, everything, what is it? Everything, anywhere, all at once. Everything. I mean, I, I should know the name of the movie because it won freaking everything. It was literally the Oscars that belonged to them, and they so deserved it. Mm hmm. You know, um, what else? The memoriam. I was upset about the memoriam. No Leslie Jordan. No Leslie No Jordan. Anne Heche. Mm -hmm. yep. So they missed out on the queer representation there. Um, Did you like the show? It was freaking long. Ow. Like, why do they make these things so damn long? It was three and a half hours. They changed the carpet. Every news story was talking about the champagne carpet. The carpet did nothing. It looked awful. Okay? <laughs> it didn't help at all. Bring back the red carpet. Yeah. And you know, it's interesting. They have a red carpet. It's that color for a reason because it looks so good in camera shot. Mm -hmm. And then they ruined it. Um, other thoughts? I mean, so I, I watched clips, you know, I went, to, I targeted what I liked and who I liked. I, I did not sit through all four hours. Um, it was <laughs> who, me, yeah. Who did You're you, busy having sex. Who did you, uh, who did you like in the clips that you reviewed? So I did watch the, um, the Everything All at Once, A was part of our show. Which one? There were 10 of those. Right, well, the, the, the two directors. The, oh, the, the, the directors. tenth time the, they the, went the up The tenth time. Mm -hmm. like, oh, and then, and then, and then the little guy from, from Goonies. I mean, I can't, yeah. the, the, you know, that part. Aww. And so even Brendan, like okay. all of their authentic self, like to, to me, I get so emotional watching folks being their true, authentic self and allow their emotions mm -hmm. to come out because that way you, they show that they're, they're only, it's not for play, it's like authenticity. They, they're, they're true, they truly accept them. And what I liked most about it, all the clips that I saw was understanding that it was artists supporting other artists it, and they're recognizing their gifts. Whether we agree with who won or who didn't won, the fact that artists are recognizing the gifts of artists. Let me, let me ask all of you, did you miss the slap? Did you miss a moment <laughs> like that? No, we I won. Think, I, yeah. think, I think we all were waiting for something like that to happen. Yeah, yeah. I think Jamie Lee Curtis was trying to give you that with her weird reaction to her win, and I felt like it was fraudulent a little bit. Mm. I feel like she was being Not extra. Authentic. We, we, we won this. We it, won this. Uh, it was so weird. Her reaction was very, very weird for me, and it's fine. But I feel like that was the takeaway for me. It was like, okay, that was awkward and extra. Mm. But I think the real takeaway is is Brendan Fraser and his win. Uh, because it is a, a gay character, but it's not only just a gay character, it was what it meant mm -hmm. to the gay community and the acceptance, what he went to get away from Absolutely. his daughter mm -hmm. because yep. he was, and then he hurt himself because what essentially he's, he gained all this weight because yep. he just hated himself and he had to remove himself from his right. daughter's right. life because he was gay. And at the end, he got right. the acceptance he needed where he died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And I think it was a... It's you a, just ruined was, the movie. Thanks. I know. Wow. I didn't, wow. I didn't yeah. really guess. Oh, go watch but, it. And, and, he, and do you know Brendan Fraser's like backstory? Like, you know, he's nominated for this for the Golden Globes and he didn't go and he wasn't planning on going to any award show because he had accused the president of the foreign press 
and touching him inappropriately right, yes. and sexual assault. Oh, back I didn't in know that. Yeah. Yes. So this was huge for him to be there and to be like, okay, you know. And, and like emotionally, get, and, and, and have his emotion, like, like to live through that moment and understanding, like you said, all of that. And then to go through that on camera. Like this, this will be in history books. Him being that guy from the guy from the mummy to this guy and, and involving. And man. You know, and, and all of that. Yes, and, and, and I want to tell that, that story. To me, that, that, that was really the moment for for both the best actor <clears throat> and the best uh, supporting actor. Indiana because, Jones. Because, right? yes, the, the mm-hmm. Korean uh, yeah. kid that mm-hmm. was uh, was the kid. He's like 45. Yes, So I he's know. not a kid anymore. Right, I but know. with him is. Indiana Jones. Yes, we didn't know. To all of us. We were getting ready right to just do the slap. <laughs> Take that out of your mouth. <laughs> right. Um, uh, when he did uh, Goonies and Indiana Jones. But he was a back. kid. Uh, right. And, and uh, w- what was interesting is uh, Jimmy Kimmel makes a joke that's funny, but totally inappropriate. He makes the joke of, isn't it interesting that two actors that are in Encino Man, and he's implying how terrible the movie is. And he's saying in front of the entire world, wait, these people were in this terrible, terrible movie, and now they've gone on to be nominated for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor. It was a terribly inappropriate. That's not, that's not oh, actually no. what he said. So let me say exactly what he did say, right? So what he said was basically saying these two folks came from Encino Man and now they've won Oscars. Paul, uh, poor Paulie Shore. He's the only one sad about these two winning. <laughs> yeah. yes. Poor Paulie which, Shore. Which, but the, the, yeah, yeah. What he was trying to say was how, what a time, like the time frame, the coincidence of them being in this shitty movie, getting uh, awards for two different movies on the same year at the same time. Yeah. And Paulie Shore is nowhere to be found. These people were <laughs> like also nowhere. nowhere to be found. That's that part. Brandon Fraser was nowhere to be found. Was but it, but it's, no, but it's inappropriate. And, 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 and and guy, how is it inappropriate? Why is it inappropriate? But, but, and, that, and that guy left acting because he he felt this like was they were. Well, he felt like the, the, the guy from the young it person from, Go- from Goody's, oh, he, yes. he realized that there was no parts for him. So he left. He became a stunt guy. And that only way he could still be inside the, the mainstream of movie That's making, right. but right. could not get the right in the background, but still be a part of it you know, and, until his role came around. Another, and then he was able to. Oh, we're going to put a red. Just Clearly, because yeah. he, he wants to talk. Yeah. But, I mean, that's, that's celebrate that. that he, he never left his crap, and now he's being rewarded for what he did. Amen. You know, uh, another big uh, moment, I thought, uh, was right. Brendan Fraser, um, because I don't know if you caught it, and there's been a lot written uh, since, uh, uh, since uh, the broadcast. He turned to the person next to him and said, did they say my name? Mm-hmm. That was the first words out of his mouth. He did not believe he was going to win. Oh, so and no one in that room believed he was going to win. The, the actor that played Elvis, it was a lock. He has won every award there is. They won nothing. Screen actor uh, <laughs> Isn't that weird? and, and uh, Golden Globes. He won every single award. He was the lock favorite to win that award. And he didn't win this. And didn't well, win. And, There's a campaign and, and when they called Brendan Fraser, he didn't believe it. And that's why he turned. And the first he mouthed, did they call my name? Did they say my name? Who gave him his award? Because that would have been Will Smith <clears throat> if he wouldn't have been have exiled been. Was, for 10 years. It was years. two women. I forgot the two oh, okay. women. And it was unusual because it wasn't uh, the previous. And when, a moving moment for me. I'm not a big Brendan Fraser fan. And I wasn't a fan of The Whale. But a, a, in a moment that I will never forget of Brendan Fraser as he's walking on the stage, he is so stunned that he is walking on the stage of his entire life of... George in the Jungle, mm-hmm. and Encino <laughs> Man, Aww. and Mummy, mm. and Journey to the Center of the Earth, and, you know, uh, popcorn to bad wow. films. Yeah. And now he's walking on the stage for the Oscar. You watched him in his eyes mm-hmm. thinking about all well, of that simultaneously. That. That and as she reaches the Oscar out to him, he looks at the statue in shock that he's getting ready to touch the statue. Mm-hmm. You go back and watch it. It's okay. probably the highlight mm-hmm. of the entire show. Well, if I could put a pin on this segment, I don't want to <laughs> go without mentioning Michelle Yeoh for her performance because I, Trinidad is the biggest supporter of women. I was just joking about the sandwich. but You said the, F Women's <laughs> History Month. And you told me to make you a sandwich. Explain well, that's, to me how... You are on the side of women because I'm lost for sure. Because you're more yeah. like a gay man. Yeah. Put the pin That's in it why. and let's move on. Right, but the thing is, is that she He's gets a talking. lot of credit. And I think that like older women to me has been box office gold for a long time. 
that has been unrecognized. The Golden Girls, we all know and, it has but, been the most but it's really successful. You and know it should be. Isn't? And it is none of the great writers of are white men that are running Hollywood. Yes, right. They go, you're right. wait, you're not important enough because you're, you're right. too old. You're right. Exactly, the yeah. best why, writers right. need to be okay. there, and it'd be gold. If you've ever been on one of those hookup, and then did, uh, if you uh, wait, let me start. Take a breath, <laughs> take a breath. <laughs> take a breath Daddy. Take a breath. It's okay. Okay, okay Diplo. All right, I'm still thinking of Diplo. I love his voice. All right, mm -hmm. if you've ever been one of those who hook up and then dished the dirty deeds to your pals, uh, they, have, they may have asked, is he a grower or a shower? How many times through our lives have we heard that phrase? <laughs> Turns out that's not just a question for the kiss and tell set. Medical researchers are interested in the topic too. A recently presented study made ultrasound scans of 225 <laughs> men's penises, both flaccid and erect, wow. to see what the differences were between their soft and hard sciences. And I got this text to do this story from Jonathan Castanius. He said, you must do this. <laughs> so we are. I'm okay right, with that. Behind a zucar. Right. Researchers <laughs> found that 24% of men were growers. 25% were showers, and everyone else is somewhere in the between. Okay. And I remind you, this is 5149, just like our politics in America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, men with longer flaccid penises were more likely to be showers. Growers and showers. Ooh. So, Doc, is this urban legend? There is some validity to this. Um, there are certain men that have larger appearing members when they are flaccid and others who gain length when they are aroused and get an erection. There isn't really a, um, an effect necessarily on the difference between being someone who grows and someone who ends up showing off later in terms of how it affects your sexual health. But um, there is, uh, there does seem to be a, a difference between men who grow when they're aroused and men who have a, a natural, naturally larger member uh, when they're flaccid. So Joe, grower or shower? Well, uh, I don't know if this is distraction, but this is actually life size. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak on behalf of the ladies here. And I think if a guy keeps telling you he's a grower instead, you're within your rights to say, well, what time does the show start? <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to hear about last night's crowd. That's and, the first rule of show business. Well, sure. And I, I like the concept of the growers, Doc. You know, it kind of reminds me of the little engine that could. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. I can get there. You know, we're getting ready to prove the difference in the doctors, and it's happening out. All of those straight men look so uncomfortable in that conversation. Yeah. And we're going to dive right in and wallow and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I'd, uh, so question number three. With the Bacardi shot, I'd swallow that. <laughs> It's important to gay culture to be a grower or a shower. Whichever it is, it's well, important yeah. to us. Just have a dick. Sure. Right. <laughs> well, I'll show you now. I guess that's true. I'll show you. I just need a fluffer. Give me a second. I, I, don't, I don't think all those doctors were straight. Did you see the one in the, in the uh, black yeah. scrub when he said like the that. larger appearance? Yeah, a little bit too much. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wait. He, he got some neck into that one. So, so wait, what were the findings? If you're a shower, you're still a, 20, a bigger grower? grower? 25%. No, no, no. But Showers, 24%. They didn't say specifically about in the difference between the growing and showing and their size. Size, yeah. right. Just if people yeah. were. This had yeah. nothing to do with the size. It happened, it, it is the difference of, it, you're a shower and basically you're the length of your penis, whether you are flaccid or you're hard. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It just no, I up. think I'd rather be a grower. It's a surprise at the end. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like a birthday party Woo! all the time. Okay. Right? All right. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right? Um, all right, Jonathan, you're a grower or a shower? Uh, I'm definitely a grower. But I do that thing where you, like, shake it in case you walk into the room and it gets just a little bit girthy. Oh, it's <laughs> And Wait. then it's not as teeny tiny. It's like you a know? snow globe. It's the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. You know, you know uh, it, 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 just to this point, you know, they have stuff that you can do where you don't have to do that. Andrew Christian has the ring underwear oh. that hey, pushes you off. That's why straight men mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. They and, love and, it. And, 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 and by the way, I'm interviewing 
um, Andrew Christian this week and oh. I need to ask him that question specifically because I suspect that that underwear overwhelmingly is bought by straight men. Yeah. We'll see. I'm going to yeah. ask that. Really? Well, except for the ones that have uh, stolen his design and put in like other underwear now. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. Right. Well, yeah. I'll get into the legal stuff too, I guess. Do it. I've got to do that now. <laughs> and it's hot and <laughs> um, uh, Mark, shower or grower? Shower. But I think like 90% of a package is really just cojones. Balls. Anyway, that's... Coolness? No, testicles. Oh, the, the balls. The te- what I care about is, is as that long as I, as long as I don't have to like sift through like Auntie Mame's wig. Oh my god! To get to it. So I <laughs> really care more more, Do more you about have the one landscape. Of those wigs down there. Does it? Does the drapes match the uh, carpet? The carpet? No, oh, please, Lord, yes. Oh, there goes there. my fantasy. There's right. burning hardwood floors. Yeah. Hardwood floors. <laughs> okay. Did you imagine this down there? I couldn't go running. Yeah. Not that I go running now. <laughs> <laughs> that is a reference to something you don't do. Yeah. The only I was offended about about the little doctor thing is like when the guy was like i'm speaking for the ladies for the like, dude, yeah. dude don't ever say don't that ever on a show that. just right. don't say it on a show they has bitch slapped me so many times for doing that exact uh, same mistake oh, right. and really. then you grow let's that's <laughs> right all right let's next up is our game shag Mary job it is sponsored by andrew christian our game is a playful conversation about sex andrew christian is a literal representation of that playfulness and the world's most recognized sexy fashion brand for men iconic names like trophy boys swimsuits underwear and are just the start of andrew christian Founded by and dedicated by to the LGBTQ plus community, Andrew Christian has become a status symbol for the straight men wanting to adopt our lifestyle. Cochrane. And that's what Andrew Christian represents. The brand support of our community is unparalleled. Pride events, major parties, and charitable fundraisers, and many of the issues that have become so critical to the gay community are all supported by Andrew Christian. And we congratulate Andrew himself for making last year's prestigious Out 100 list. His brand presence in pop culture, entertainment, video, and so much more is why Andrew Christian is our sponsor for Shag Mary Chop. Okay, this time it's a little bit of a twist. We're still in Women's History Month, but we're not going to do that. Uh, this time, Sorry, Faye. <laughs> Sorry, Faye. <laughs> right, and we flip her off. Uh, it's and national... bisexuals only get a week. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> bisexuals only get a week. And she get two. At least. All right. It's <laughs> National Women's in different months. Uh, History <laughs> Month. That's bisexual. And Faye isn't here. Oh, where is she? Uh, who cares? Really? In your trunk? In your uh, trunk? Exactly. No, I. I wouldn't even. In care. little Latina nope. <laughs> piece of her in my trunk. Okay, so uh, she's not here, and uh, we wanted to do some boys. Well, these wow. individuals may not be women, but they uh, pay tribute to them in their performances. Yeah. Uh, they're the hottest drag queens in South Florida. So let's play Shag Mary Chop with them. First up, uh, Athena Dion, the Greek goddess, goes to Mykonos every, every summer, the, the legendary queen at our house, and uh, Prince Trilla, <coughs> uh, and super cute as a boy. And, Sa- and, and a girl, and a girl, uh, and then Sasha Lords, a very talented queen. So let's play Shag, Mary Chop. Auntie Mame, let's start with you. Um, Lesbianism. You to, <laughs> tell us all about uh, it. It's going to be my sister, sister. Yeah. Um, uh, all right. Jeez, why do you start me? Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to shag Sasha because um, she's just gorgeous. Mm-hmm. I mean, she really is. She's absolutely gorgeous. And um, I love watching her perform because she's just uh, she's very dynamic. Um, I'm gonna marry. I love her death drops. Yeah, I know, right? I'm, I, yeah. I mean, those are cute. Like <coughs> flexibility. Um, I'm gonna marry Athena so that I can hopefully also get a trip to Mykonos. Oh, you want to um, go to Mykonos? I would love to go to Mykonos yeah. and just, you know. Have an open relationship there. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> specific. Open as soon as we get off the boat, I'm like, right. okay, we're open See now. Ya, bye. Athena. All right, bye. I'm going to the right. islands. Um, I'm going to, as as I do sometimes, I'm going to pull out my friend zone card. Oh, child. and no friends. Way. Yes, I, I can do what I want. That is. Who are you? I can do what I want. <laughs> this is not, this, I do what I want, right? So, Prince Phil is going to be my Kiki girl. Oh, uh, no. That's going to be my friend zone because. Uh, we gonna have a good old time, just like we did at Wigwood. We gonna All have right. a good old time. All right, I can do what I want. <laughs> Wig. I don't know. I don't know why Wig we're acting like I can't. <laughs> right. And Mark, who are you going to share? What a cop out. Yeah. Why right. do you have to do this with all local girls? Like I just, I know the one. 
that I say oh, I'm going to chop is going to come right in front after of them, me. And one of them is going to come back to you. <laughs> okay. You. So. Don't cop out. Oh, no, wait, wait. Um, uh, we didn't do Daisy. Uh, uh, who Everybody was else who was, <laughs> who was Who was your Not yet. I forgot that it uh, performed at your, uh, your Daisy wedding. Daisy Dead Daisy It was Daisy. Yeah. yeah. So oh, she's, see, she's not here. So at least she's not here. here. Yes. Daisy did West Palm. Yeah. <laughs> so my. And Palm Beach Gardens and Boynton Beach and Del Rey Beach. All right. Who are you shagging? And the Dolphins. Shag would be. Athena, just because if it's only going to be for one night, I want to be seen and photographed with some of these outfits. <laughs> she, I, I just, I love the wardrobe. I know. Oh, so are you going to play dress up so or are you having long. sex? Have you seen Athena as a as a boy? She kind of looks like Sasha yeah. Rose in this picture, in this real. But I'll show if, you the boy picture. If, if, if we're going with no for, but that to me is more the Mary category. Yeah. Is, oh, really? The ongoing so, sex? Okay. Yes, right. that would be Sasha Lord. Yawn. All right, look at oh, Sasha. With <laughs> her. Mary is ongoing sex. <laughs> with, her, with her hot boy <laughs> and girl stuff. Yes, she okay. would be the Mary. And I would have to cut Prince. Just All right. scroll to the Instagram. Too Wait. many pussycat wigs. Wait. In it. Not to be stirring the pot, but Prince is 0-2. I'm just saying. Mm. All right. <laughs> and Cal, who are you shagging? So I'm definitely shagging Athena, but I'm going to shag her over the summer so I can go to Mykonos. Yeah. You, mean, sure. you mean Athena's going to exactly. shag you. Exactly. Yeah, mm. whatever. On the boat. Whatever. It on matter. the boat. Yeah. yeah. On the ferry from right? uh, yeah. Piraeus. And then okay. you get off. The ferry on the ferry. <laughs> <laughs> then you get off. And you're so married. I'm gonna is. actually gonna marry Prince Trilla. Okay. Um, funny enough, um, Prince Trilla's mom is my receptionist. <laughs> <at work. laughs> and Miss Carol watches the it's, show. So Miss Carol, uh, honey. So you yeah. can't be you chopping, can't be chopping Prince. Prince. I can't. I can't Wait, chop you Prince have Trilla. To marry. Uh, so I have to marry Prince Trilla. Wait. So this is okay. a sympathy marriage. This is like an arranged marriage. Arranged marriage. Arranged marriage. Arranged marriage. marriage. He's a arranged. prince. Oh, I'll well, be you a are princess. Indian descendant. On brand. Yeah. On brand. Yeah. So he's a prince. I'll be a princess. You know, oh my God, Jasmine! And I really want Miss Carol to show up to work tomorrow because <laughs> I really need her. Yeah. I would but love funny that enough, I uh, Miss Carol worked for me for the last two years, and I didn't know that Prince Trilla was her mom until oh, I met her okay. at Aww. one of the drag shows. I'm like, Miss Carol, what are you doing here? She goes, Oh, my son performed. I'm Do like, you Who? Call her Miss Carol. Yes. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's that funny. is so cute. cute. Yeah. That is cute. So respectful. Yeah. So yeah. unfortunately, I have to chop Sasha. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Sasha's just gone. Sasha's That's it. Gone. Sorry. Not, I don't even have enough of an opinion to chop her, is what you just told us. <laughs> Got it. All right. That's all right. No, and no, I'm no. really fascinated here because I happen to know well, that that you have certain affections for certain queens involved in this. Uh, chop. Do you? So, have you really uh, shagged any of we're them? We're going to. I have not shagged any uh, of them. Okay. No, I wasn't suggesting that I'm willing to yeah. talk about. about oh, Lord. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Right. Lord. Your shag is. No, I couldn't actually because there's a lot of connections with my family Wait, and my house go. family. Yes, in your house. So, Sasha Lord is going to be a shag. Dade uh, circle. Well, you're a brown yes. bitch now. Because I was in the ballroom scene and I was affiliated with the Lords. So that's the and, and Raul Vegas used to be a Lord who was actually the mother of. Uh, Athena Dion. So there's a lot of there that I need to be careful with. Oh. So I'm going to shag. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to shag Sasha Lores because she's actually gorgeous uh -huh. as a boy and a girl. And I've seen her kind of grow up. And I feel like she's probably uh, that the person you shag. Right? No, not grow up in that yeah. way. I'm That's saying like she's flourished into this beautiful thing that I want to tackle. Important. We're, um, we're all over here just, <laughs> just cringing. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> Talk about Gruber. <laughs> The one I knew as a child. I like, talked myself oh, into oh, a groomer. Why did you grow up? Grow up? <laughs> oh, so I feel like shagging here is what, right. it's the logical. I should probably chop her now. <laughs> exactly. Go for it. And, I think I'm going to chop her now. He's going to get really, really weird. Yeah. 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 Is somebody at Moms for Liberty are going to cut the <laughs> moment out? Yeah, why should grow up? Yo, for right. real, shit. Uh, yeah. So they got weird. I'm but they were their family. I watched them grow up. So we're gonna yeah. All right. And your Mary is? So I'm going to marry Athena Dion wow. because I feel like we're already married. Wow. Like she knows my family. She's besties with my aunt. Like she does Auntie. every show that I ever I hire her on. She says no to nothing. Okay. And oh, really, oh, that's oh, what you want. Oh, the wife. Yeah, there you oh. go. Oh, 
that and I, and I never have to pay her except with you oh, know. Oh really? Uh, okay. it's just, so the, just head, the, the headline wait, is Athena Dion says no. The never cut out of the stop <laughs> one here. huge long one. Oh, no. never says you're no. on. Yo. If the tape ever goes away and Yo. you're going to show the eight seconds <laughs> you pay Athena Dion gigs. We're gonna make a room. No, but you so. know there's a minimum wage law here. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, excuse oh, me. I am a grower. grower. Oh, I am a grower. grower. So you give them nickels, it turns into uh, cash later. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. It's a whole wow. roll of quarters. Boy, this is working out bad for you. <laughs> this <every> is so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Can I start over? <laughs> no. I really want to start over. Oh, but no. sorry, Trilla. Uh, I'm going to marry you because I don't want to chop anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be polyamorous or whatever uh, it's called. <laughs> <laughs> you are so buried and cold now. It's done. We're. Uh, I can't I'm wait. Sorry. To see tomorrow's cuts out of the show. No, it's gonna, gonna be really wine after no. this one. Are, yeah. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.